I'll try to do this one as well. A very quick recap. If you want to bring in a lot of photographs, then you have to go File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack, you browse out and find where your files are. Here they are on this. Bring them all in by clicking the first one, holding the Shift button down, clicking the last one and saying OK. And then they should all come in to Photoshop here. I'll line up in here. You click the first one, you hold your finger on the bottom one, you click the last one again, okay, and you attempt to align them up. So what they're lining up is all the desks should line up or anything that's normally in the picture should stack perfectly one on top of each other. You can use this any time, I'm not sure, or maybe there's multiple photographs. Sometimes a, a person is diving into the water, that's probably where you'd you could probably line them up if you were hand holding them. All right, so you say yes. I'm going to cancel that because they've already done this. Here are all your photographs layered, so you're not copying and pasting them in one at a time. They're all layered. Here is the top one, the one you look at all the time. It's the one that's the first one you can see on the screen, and all these are behind each other. Now, if you hear some religious music, I think the TV's on, and I'm just a bit lazy to turn it off. Um, so here it is I'm going to have a look at the first one and the second one okay so they're not too bad they're a long far away apart so I know where he is so here's the first one that's the first layer remember I've got to turn the first one off go to the second layer you can see me do this turn it on so you can see it and I want to find this object okay and highlight it with the new highlight tools, you remember you click over here, selection subject, okay, and then click on him, and he should go pink, okay, he's selected. Turn on the first one, go back to the first one, so you can see this little silhouette in the background, and all we do is get the mouse, I'm not sure about his feet here, but we'll just I'll do this, rubbing out, I'm rubbing it out. Rubbing it out, and I actually, uh, he's got his foot up on the table. Maybe you can't see it through the bottom there. This will be a bit different. I'll just rub it out for a second, see what happens. Oh, deselect. So now I can go back to the original photograph. Oh, there is a. All right. I was just checking to see where these other foot is, but it's just hidden, and that's good actually. It's hidden. All right, so now you've got two layers. You can see them first and second. Remember, you layer and you merge the visible and you repeat the process. So now this is the next photograph down the back. Yeah, that's sensible enough. I can do that. I just click on the layer. I pick my subject. Here he is. Give the software a bit of time to highlight. Okay, so there's the subject. I'll go again. Yep, highlight, subject highlighted. I go back to the original layer and I use my eraser and rub him out. I deselect everything. I notice I can do that on the screen there. Yep. I merge the first two layers. Layer. Flatten the layer. Mm, no, I don't flatten the layer. Layer. Merge the visible. Now what I'm going to do is stop the video here. I'm going to do all these ones and come back to the last one. It just takes too much time and you won't watch it. So click on here, pause my video. All right, I've come back at the end. What I did is I've done them all. Two or three images I got rid of because they were down the back there and behind some of these new previous images. And I've just used a curves layer mask to turn the brightness up and now I'm looking to see whether I'll crop it. There is a few edges there. I might crop this image just to bring it in a little bit. Give it more context. Kind of a rule of thirds. A bit weird here, but you can see that, that the subject is everywhere. Mainly to give the room a bit of solidness. I might turn up. Mm, okay, I'm just not happy with those properties there. I'll just do that. Turn it off. 
I'll flatten the image, the whole image this time, and then what I'll do is I'll just try to up the colour a bit, saturate a bit more, and mainly for printing. A little bit of lightness, no. All right, this moment is about the best I could do. And it's interesting, some are in focus, some aren't, but that's just automatically focusing. Remember using a camera on a phone. We'll save it as. Um, combined. Or three, three megabytes for printing. That'll be pretty good. Right, that'll do.